Section 1.4, Radical Equations, Part 1. The definition of a radical equation is an equation with a variable under the radical. Extraneous solutions occur sometimes when we solve radical equations. What is an extraneous solution? It's a solution that's not a solution of the original equation. So we might get solutions once we go through the process of solving that actually are not solutions to the original equation. So checking our answer is going to be very important. Let's go through the steps for solving radical equations. Step one, isolate the radical. So if the radical isn't all by itself on one side of the equal sign, we need to make that happen using algebra. Step two, raise both sides of the equation to the power of the index. If it's square root, we will square both sides. If it's cube root, we will cube both sides, etc. Number three, solve. And then finally, check for extraneous solutions. Let's look at an example. The cube root of 7x plus 13 minus 2 equals 4. Step one, isolate the radical. So it's not by itself on one side of the equal sign. We need to add 2 to both sides. Now we have isolated the radical. Step two, raise both sides of the equation to the power of the index. That means we will raise both sides to the third power. Step three, solve. So the cube root of uh, the uh, cube root of 7x plus 3 cubed is just 7x plus 3, right? That's why we rose it, raised that side to the third power. But the cube, when we raise 6 to the third power, we get 216. So now we'll solve that, and we get x is 29. Now we need to check. Is that number 29 a solution to the original equation? So we'll plug it in and simplify until we determine in this case, yes, it is. It checks. So our solution set is 29. One more equation. 4 plus the square root of 5x minus 14 equals x. Step 1, isolate the radical. We need to subtract 4 from both sides. Step 2, raise each side of the equation to the power of the index. It's square root, so we will square both sides. Now we solve. Notice that on the right we got a quadratic equation, which means we want this equal to zero, so we can see if we can factor it or use some other method of solving quadratic equations. Subtract 5x, add 14, and we get this with zero on the left-hand side. This one will factor nicely to x minus 3, x minus 10. So x minus 3 is 0, so x equals 3, that's one possible solution. And x minus 10 is 0, x equals 10. 10 is another possible solution. Now we check for extraneous solutions. Let's start with 3. So we'll plug in 3 where we had an x and simplify. And we find that we get something that is not true. 5 is not equal to 3. 3 is an extraneous solution. We will not report that in our solution set. Let's check 10. Plug in 10. Ten equals 10. This is a true statement. Therefore, we threw out the x equals 3, but we will keep the 10 in our solution set. So 10 is the, the only solution that works for this radical equation.